Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a cleaning motivation video where I'm going to be attempting to reset the whole house. I'm going to be tackling the play area, Arlo's bedroom, the kitchen. I'm also going to be trying to do a viral cleaning hack on the hob discs. So stay tuned for all of the cleaning motivation today. It has been so, so hot today but I am determined to try and get everything done and sorted, ready for the week ahead. I always find that resetting on a weekend just puts me in like good stead for the week. So I always try my best to do as much as I can on the weekends. I'm starting off in Arlo's room and I'm just gonna be tidying up his toys that he's chucked on the floor and also put away his books. I've got two ways that I store his books in his bedroom. One of them is his Flissat Ikea bookshelves that are next to his bed that I'll show you in a moment and I use this plate holder here as like a little Montessori open access book display um, and I really love it I think it's really like good for them to be able to just like reach for things when they want to and play with it so after I've done that I'm putting away Arlo's teddy bears in this beanbag hack that I've shown before as well um, but essentially you can use it on any beanbag you just take out the insert to the beanbag and fill it with teddy bears and cushions and blankets and it's such a space saving like genius idea I think it's such a really good idea because it just saves so much space I don't know why you make me wanna do better You make me wanna do better I don't know why, I don't know why Like a better woman Like a better woman So here I'm just giving Arlo's mattress a good clean because I haven't cleaned it in so so long and I'm using the Zoflora Carpet Care Foam which is just amazing. I use it on literally everything. I use it on my sofa, I use it on the carpet, I use it on mattresses and it just makes everything smell so fresh and give everything a clean. So I've used that and just put some new sheets on his bed and now I'm moving on to my own bedroom. You want it, come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young So I'm just giving the bed a quick hoover with my hand held back and then I'm going to be going in with my damp duster which I am obsessed with, honestly I love this so much I use it for like the bed, I use it for dusting shelves, windowsills, radiators, skirting boards, you name it it is literally the best invention this year, I would say. And I am just going across the bed just to make sure all of the dust has been lifted off. And then I'm gonna go over it as well because I feel like with this material, it's also good to use a lint roller just to pick up that extra dust and fluff. So I'm gonna go in with a lint roller afterwards just to make sure it's really, really clean. I do get some questions about where my bed is from. It's from Dreams and it's the Sana Fabric or Holstered five foot king ottoman bed frame. <laughs> that was a mouthful. And then the pillows that I have, I have got questions about that before. It's the Temper, T-E-M-P-U-R, cloud pillow. They're quite expensive. It's 170 pound for two of them. But I would say literally they are the best pillows ever. They're sort of like really firm, but have memory foam on them it's really hard to explain but 
they literally feel like you're sleeping on a cloud I guess that's why it's called the cloud pillow um, but there's one thing I don't compromise on and that is getting a good night's sleep when I can so I definitely say like if you don't if you haven't swapped out your mattress or your pillows in a while then it's definitely important to do that when Arlo was born and I went into the hospital, I couldn't stand the thought of not having this pillow with me. So I actually bought it in labour with me and I was using it during labour. Like, that's how dedicated I am to using this pillow. And now I'm moving on to cleaning the little handprints, the little tiny fingerprints that Arlo has made on the mirror just for him to come back home and do it all again. But you know, it's just the circle, the cycle and circle of life to be honest with cleaning, isn't it? You just end up spending your whole life cleaning when you've got kids. Um, and then I realized that I hadn't emptied this Hoover in quite a while. And also you're meant to wash the filter every week and I've never even washed it since I've had the Hoover. So I did that today and that was a good job, well done. And now I'm gonna see what lies beneath the sofa cushions. I don't even wanna see what's under here, guys. Now moving on to the thing I hate to clean the most which is the hob and in particular the hob discs is something that I didn't realise again that I had to clean. So I found this viral cleaning hack on Instagram and it's basically using bicarbonate of soda, lemon water and also putting boiling water in there too and it is meant to clean the hob discs to make them like sparkling clean. So I'm giving it a go and seeing if it works um, and yeah, we'll try it out together. I've also seen people use cocktail sticks to clean the joint in between where their hob and their work top meets. I don't have any cocktail sticks, but I had the idea to use a screwdriver and put like a cloth over it. So I'm going to give it a go and see if it works and I want to see how much dirt it picks up.
So as you can kind of see here, like it cleaned the hob discs but the burn marks that are on them it just wouldn't budge and even with the sonic scrubber I couldn't get the marks off so I'm going to have to think about how I can clean those properly but it has made the hob better so I'd say it is a win and now I need to move on to doing the play area um, because Arlo's going to be back literally any minute. So I'm starting to introduce some of the autumnal kids decal bits into the play space and I'm thinking maybe just to completely switch it from space theme to woodland theme because I've got so many woodland things over at um, his nanny's house in the woodland room. So I might do that, let me know what you think. And I'm just getting his autumn books out. The Leaf Thief is the cutest book, it's so adorable. Um, and I've got Gilbert the Ghost, I've got Room on the Broom of course, and How to Make Friends with the Ghost. Let me know if you've got any other Halloween or autumn book recommendations, but these are the ones that I love and that we used last year. I'm just going to give the play area a hoover and just finish off cleaning up. I've not done anything major in it because I'm exhausted and I've run out of time at this point. The heat has literally killed me off. I literally need to go and just put my head in the freezer right now. If you're new here, please make sure you tap the subscribe button. I would love to have you so much. I post two videos typically each week. One is like a vlog style and the other one is cleaning motivation. And then sometimes I do a third video when I've got the time. Um, but I'd absolutely love to have you. And please make sure you also tap the like button and drop me a comment below and let me know how your week's gone. And I will see you guys in the next video.